For most, the Christmas holidays are a time for rest, relaxation, and a little harmless overindulgence. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. They should be. But the holidays looked a little different for Canada's national senior women's rugby team. The World Cup year has been quite demanding on the athletes and their bodies, but the women are back at it again in training camp in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> Normally, Canadian rugby only has two or three events per calendar year, but the team will have had five tours in 12 months before the World Cup in August. It has been less than two months since Canada's last tour, so the athletes had to stay in top condition over the holidays. But they were able to still enjoy a slightly modified Christmas, and they were reminded just how important it is to rest. The team had two days off from training, and most were able to spend it with their families and loved ones. As a young second row who already has a World Cup to her name, Megan Gibbs took her first non-rugby trip in years when she went to New York City. So nice to get away from my first non-rugby tour. Um, no structure, no nap time, practice time, meeting time. I wake up, train like we normally do, and then, yeah, had the rest of the time just to do whatever we wanted. Like, we did no sightseeing, we did family time, we saw three movies, and relaxed and I did do my training but other than that it was just yeah completely refreshing. The heck with sugar and spice. Barbara Mervin has been in the program for years but said that as an athlete it can be hard to accept that your days off are just as important as your training days. Now I've worked really hard to come around to that balance and realizing that it's actually something that my body needs. My body needs to have a break. Feeling refreshed after their short break the team were met with temperatures similar to home. A reminder, this was not going to be a holiday in Florida. Canada will play the U.S. twice in Florida at the same facilities where the Detroit Tigers have their spring training. Since 1987, the two teams have played each other 23 times, with the Americans having the better record, 14 and 9. However, since 2006, Canada has won four of the last five matches. But, more importantly, and the reason why Canada is here, there are only seven months and six matches left until the next World Cup. Well, if you can't remember, then I don't feel bad. The last time Canada played the U.S. was at the Nations Cup in August. Canada lost that match in the dying minutes of the game. But they have the bigger picture in mind, says Marvin. So we learned a lot of things in that game, and we're going to take those. And again, the games that we play here, in Tampa, we're going to use these games as preparation for the World Cup. So we're going to be trying different things. We'll see which ones are successful and which ones aren't. And we're just going to keep working and building from there. As the World Cup inches closer, Canada's coaching staff has made it apparent their selections are not based on development anymore. It's getting that time. We've given you in 2009, we've given you opportunities to play, to start games, to work on those things. It's kind of crunch time. Canada plays the U.S. on January 12th and again on the 16th. Both matches will kick off at 3. Reporting for Rugby Canada, I'm Megan Mutry in Florida.